Fife Flyers TV, sponsored by the Bay Hotel, Fife's premier wedding venue. Uh, Todd, a lot's been said in the last couple of days regarding last weekend. What would you like to say to maybe draw a line under the whole incident? I, I think you said it um, perfectly. Um, you know, it's time we, we, we draw a line under this. I think in my article, um, I, I hope it came across, my true intentions came across, that ultimately it's not about winning and losing a hockey game. Um, I've openly admitted to you a number of times that the better team won those games on the weekend. Uh, Brayhead were immense. Um, they were all over us and um, ultimately played us off the pad that weekend. Um, I think possibly my frustration came from just getting a sense that, um, you know, we, we need a, an organization that's in place that's going to be first and foremost. Uh, not only for my player's safety, but all players in the league. I think that it, it's important that hockey players understand that they're playing uh, a very physical and tough, demanding game on their bodies. Um, we all know that. Um, they're all men out there. But ultimately, in a, when there rises of a situation that it could affect a player's future employment, and certainly his future health, they have to feel protected by a group. And I'm, I'm not just talking about an incident on a, on, a, on a Sunday night that possibly, well, no, it did bring it to a head um, with me, the way I felt about it. But I think there's been a number of incidences throughout the league this year where um, players could have been cracked down on and, and certainly have in the past. Hockey players are very intelligent people. And if they know the rules, and they know that they'll be um, strictly adhered to, um, they'll, they'll conform to them. And, and we've certainly seen that in the past when heavy suspensions were mitigated out. Um, but I think it's time to, to draw a line under this. Um, you, you could go on and on and on about this. I'm sure there's always teams that are feeling hard done by. Um, ultimately, um, I, I think it's important that my players know that I have their best interests at heart as well as other players in the league. I think it's important that they recognize that I'm doing this um, for all of them because um, this is a physical, important game that we play to us. And, uh, you know, everybody should feel that um, they can enjoy years of this um, healthily and uh, safely. And that's like you touched on, that's going to be your message to players when, when they come in, you're going to explain to them about the fact that you're putting their best interests at heart. That's what this has always ever been about, is um, player safety and, and best interests. Um, I'll fight for that for as long as I'm involved in ice hockey. I think, it's, uh, I think it's an important aspect of the game. I think many leagues take it very, very seriously. And um, the Elite League, which I'm a proud member of, um, do we get everything right? Probably not. Um, and I'm sure as organizations and leagues, um, everybody doesn't do everything perfect. Um, but play, player safety, in my opinion, is an easy one. It's an easy one to take care of. Um, and uh, we should do it wholeheartedly. This weekend, an exciting couple of games of ice hockey. Five Flyers are playing against league champion Sheffield Steelers. Just what's your, your thoughts going into those two games? Well, I, I think I've said it before. We're going to have to be at our best. Sheffield are well coached, incredibly deep, and um, you, you know they know how to win. They've proven that they've won championships and uh, competitions over the years. Um, they're just always there and they're about. Um, but they're a hockey team and they can be beaten. Um, we've beaten some very good hockey clubs in this rank this year and when we're at our best, um, we're very competitive. Um, we're, we're, we're having a hard time finding a level of consistency right now, which is a little disappointing. But uh, maybe to echo the words of Paul Thompson, I saw in an article the other day that, uh, you know, he was saying that fan bases have to be prepared for their team to lose hockey games. That's, that's how good this league is. You can go and beat a team 7 nothing one night, everything's clicking, maybe the team's off, and then come back the following weekend and lose a game yourself 6-2. It doesn't make you a bad hockey team. Possibly it makes you an inconsistent hockey team. But as well as we have to recognize um, 
how good the teams are in the league and, and Sheffield Steelers are just just one of those teams um, we've got a lot of respect for them and um, you know we're gonna have to go out there and like I said at the start of your question we're gonna have to be at our very best um, if we want to get some points out of this weekend and um, we're into Thursday now so how's the mood been in training this week and what's the update on, on injuries yeah I, I mean it was down I mean uh, we, there's a good feeling in our dressing room. There's a very good feeling in our dressing room. Talking to the guys, they're excited to be here. Um, they want to be here. Um, they saw what we're capable of when we're at our best. Um, maybe a bit frustrated um, that we all knew how big it was last weekend. We did prepare for it, um, and it didn't come off for us. It just didn't come off for us, which is, um, you know, from a coaching staff or, uh, perspective, very disappointed. But Probably a good thing, as I saw how disappointed the guys were. They were down for a couple a couple days, but we we drew a line under it on Tuesday. Had a great training session, went out for a meal, a team meal, got the guys together, had some laughs. I think really relieved some pressure, and the rest of this week is really just about building up uh, towards this weekend again, um, and getting guys healthy. You'd asked about uh, um, some some injury updates. It, <sighs> Rick is skating back with us now full time. He looks good. He, he's still not 100%, but um, he just wants to play hockey. Um, and this has been a frustrating injury for him, um, one he's really struggled with. Um, you, you know, we've tried to support him the best we can. Um, it hasn't been a fast fix, um, but he's getting there. So th there's a great possibility that we see uh, a Rick Jackman in the lineup this weekend. David Chiron. Uh, we all know, um, you know, what happened to him. It was kind of a freak accident, um, but resulted in him being out for uh, near enough a month. Uh, we haven't seen him in the, in the lineup um, since we lost to Dundee in Dundee. Um, but he's looking a lot better. He's shooting the puck good, um, but hasn't been skating as much. Really need to get him into game shape and get him out. But... I think there's a good possibility that we'll see him in the lineup as well. That's certainly what we're planning. Um, you know, uh, uh, Justin Fox um, can be doubtful for the weekend, um, just off a residual, off the injury on the on, on the Saturday night on the weekend. Um, my gut feeling is he won't be playing, um, but if he gets the all clear, I'd be delighted to have Foxy in the lineup. I think he's come this year. Um, with a, a really positive and, and, and hard-working attitude and, and, and Foxy's got off to a great start for us um, you, you know had a tough weekend last weekend but um, main concern is that we get him healthy and back in this lineup as soon as possible the last last question before obviously the club moves on from this what would be your final reflections on on last weekend well I mean I, I, th I think it's important to recognize, I mean, that Brayhead played like the type of team that we want to be, you know, we, we want to be a fast skating team. Um, they capitalized on their offensive chances. They really snuffed us out defensively and, and they made every puck for us hard fought. Looking at the video, um, you know, Hutch and I broke down all 12 goals and I know it's 12 um, and, and we looked at it and uh and just saw you know common mistakes that we're making we show the guys video throughout the week i think it's important that we demand we don't make those mistakes and uh and come out we'll be better for it we've had a like i said we've had a good hard work of hard week of training um, worked on a lot of things um and we just got to fight ourselves out of this little bit of funk that we find ourselves in last week we were so high. We were right up there. We, were, you know, we were, we were going to be the team to beat. And then last weekend we crashed back down to earth. I've said it to you a number of times in my interviews that I think it's important, not only as a coaching staff but as a team, we really manage our highs and lows. Um, really try to stay somewhere in the middle ground, um, and, and not let these things, not dwell on these things too much. Um, but the guys are good. We got a good hockey club. Need to get them healthy. Um, and need to get them firing all cylinders, but when that happens, um, we're going to be a very dangerous club. The Bay Hotel, where your dream wedding becomes reality. Visit us at thebayhotel.net.